Yo, what's up everybody, Hypnotic here, and we have officially reached 50 subscribers, and I am very happy for that. Yeah! To all you new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing, it really means a lot to me. And also, make sure to comment on my videos, telling me something you'd like to see me do on this channel. But for today, I'll be starting kind of a new series called Card Spotlight, where I quickly showcase one card and walk you through how to properly use it and how to counter it efficiently. Let me know if you guys enjoy this and would like to see more, but for today, we will be kicking off this brand new series with the first card, the Battle Ram. Battle Ram is mainly an offensive card that has charging capabilities just like the regular and dark princess, but that only targets towers. Though it is supposed to be used as a push card, it can also be used as a defensive troop. It's really not that good though. In order to properly counter a troop with the Battle Ram, you need to place it so that the troop you're countering gets distracted by it, destroys it, and the barbarians that pop out do work. However, this obviously does not work with swarm units just such as the skeleton army or with splash units like the wizard. And mainly, I just do not advise you to defend with the Battle Ram unless it is an absolute emergency and you can't play any other card at all. Getting into cards to counter the Battle Ram for a positive elixir trade, you can use Skarmy if your opponent doesn't zap, a tombstone, also minion horde, goblin gang, Electro Wizard and even an Ice Spirit and Skeletons for a completely positive elixir trade. Though you need to be wary of your opponent and if they have Zap or Log. For a negative elixir trade you can use Lightning Spell or Barbs as the Lightning Spell takes out the Ram and the Barbs that pop out. And also the Barbarians just completely stop it and take everything out. When using the Battle Ram as a push card you need a tank to soak up the tower damage and also a support card that can take out swarms or stuff that directly counter the Ram as is shown in the gameplay provided. But you know what really sucks when you're using the Battle Ram? When it never even makes it to the tower. You have a full Ram push and you think you're going to make it to the tower and get that crown, but no, your opponent had to pull out the exact counter to the Ram. It sucks, man. But yeah, those are pretty much the basics for the Battle Ram. The Battle Ram is still a quite an interesting card to play around with, though it does need a buff to make it a bit better. It's fairly new, so I'm hoping they do buff this card eventually. But as for these videos, I'm trying to keep them short and quickly describe the cards and how to counter him. But yeah guys, please follow me on my Twitter at Hypnotic1426 to get channel updates and such. Subscribe to my channel as that really helps me out. Hopefully we can make it to 100 subscribers. Slack that like button to show me that you guys would like to see more videos in the future. And please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Tell me something you would like to see me do on this channel. But guys, I have been Hypnotic and I'll hopefully see you all in the next video.